أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم الحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وهو على كل شيء قدير يا أيها الذين آمنوا لما تلقون ما لا تفعلون كبر مقتا إن الله أن تلقوا ما لا تفعلون إن الله يهب الذين يقتلون في سبيله سفعا كأنهم بنيان مرسوس Dear brothers and sisters, we want to uh, greet you with the tradition of readings of trees of Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm your brother Imam Abdul Aziz and we want to continue our discussion on the reasons of revelation uh, looking deeper into the Quran during the blessed month of Ramadan. As you know, dear brothers and sisters, we are coming to a conclusion of the month. And so we want to try to get the most out of the month. And so we encourage you to take a look, if you can, spend a little more time in the Quran and extract some of the jewels and the pearls that are there uh, so that you may be able to utilize it in your daily lives. We pray a lot that that's, that's the aim and we pray a lot that that's the conclusion for us. And to that we say, I mean, today we want to talk a little bit about the importance of the, the reasons of revelation. As you already know, when we know the reasons of revelation of the Quran, this keeps us in context and it keeps us in context enough so that we can make an application of that particular message that was revealed then and that we can make an application to the, to ap the, the, uh, the religion now. We can use it as a means to help our situation now. And so when we look at that, dear brothers and sisters, we have a choice verse of the Quran that implies to us, oh, you believe. It says, glory be to Allah who has dominion over the heavens and earth and he has power over all things. It says, oh, you who believe, why do you say that which you do not? It says, more hateful in the sight of Allah is he who says that which they do not. And surely Allah loves those who strive in his way as if they are solid cemented structure. Now, what does this has to do, dear brothers and sisters, with Allah disliking us saying that which we're not going to do? What does this have to do with that, uh, the cemented structure, Allah loving us striving in his way as though we're in a solid cemented structure? Well, there was a group of individuals who used to come to the Prophet wasallam, and every time something would happen, they would ask him, O Messenger of Allah, when are you going to allow us to fight? And every time the Prophet would tell them that it wasn't time and that when the command comes to do so, then we're going to do so. And so every time they would be the first ones there showing up and appearing in front of the Messenger of Allah and asking him, Oh, Messenger of Allah, we're ready to fight. Let us fight. And then shortly after that, the Prophet ﷺ was given the command in the Quran to fight. And he could not find any of these brothers. Can you believe that? They were on him every, every day until the verse was revealed that fighting was permitted, that the Prophet ﷺ was allowed to fight in defense, in the defense of Islam, in defense of their, their safety, that the Prophet ﷺ was able now, was, was, was allowed, permitted to raise up and fight against the opposition, physical confrontation. He could not find these brothers who wanted to fight all the time. And as a result, Allah revealed this verse, O oh, you believe, why do you say that what you do not? Most hateful in the sight of Allah is he who says that which they do not. And then he follows that by saying, surely Allah loves those who strive in his way as if they are a solid semen in structure. Dear brothers and sisters, go back and take a look at Surah 61. And look at those verses of the Quran and remember what we said and go into some of the commentaries you'll find in some of them they'll have the story of those people that used to come to the Prophet Sallallahu talking about they wanted to fight and then when they didn't when fighting was revealed and they couldn't be found Allah revealed this verse rebuking that particular type of behavior didn't put their names in the verse. All it did was generalize this idea because that's no good for no community to have people saying they're going to do and they're not going to do it. May Allah help us to that we say I mean. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us during this month to reflect and utilize the reflection as a means to adjust our behavior. 
So our behavior can become one pleasing to him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us, to increase us in guidance, in its understanding, and it increases us in its proper application. And to that we say, Ameen. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار اللهم ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا ودورياتنا قورة عيون وجعلنا لمتقين إماما اللهم صل على محمد والمسلمين الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم <تصفيق>